systems so let's discuss about the today the topic is hana cloud the differences between the so on premises hana system hana on premise and hana cloud here sap hana so on premises like we have the on premises system and also we have the hana the recently sap introduced the hana cloud hana database hana cloud sap hana database in the cloud level also we have the one hana database is available here right so let's see the the differences the functionality wise both are same the functionality wise capabilities wise both are same but thing is here for the on premises customers so they have the hana database but cloud side also cloud btp cloud also we have the hana cloud hana database is available here right so let's discuss about the so what are the differences between the on premise and cloud services so what tools we use to hana cloud hana databases and everything for the monitoring and everything here right so here if i talk about the so so existing sap hana customers means so currently who are having the existing hana customers they can use the hana cloud hana database to extend their hana on premises landscape to cloud this will provide existing hana customers to with more flexibility without having to start from the scratch right sir i have already hana databases in the hana premises i have there then how can i so then i can i go ahead with the cloud hana cloud yes you can go ahead with this one to replicate the data to migrate the functionalities are available we can go with this one right sap hana database you can get more benefits so of the hana core why because it optimized for the cloud in the cloud means hana cloud means it's a designed to integrate so data there is no scale scale there is no the restrictions in the scaling like uplift and space memory cpus and everything here right using the data replication option here we can replicate the data and also they can also replicate we can also insert the data from multiple data sources in the cloud here right so that is the the main advantage is like a cloud it's a cloud based product you don't need to manage their databases without having to manage the hardware operating system without worrying about the backups updates software installations and patches everything is managed by the so everything is managed by the sap in the hana cloud here so here you don't need to worry about the hardware part softwares installation configuration managers backups so patching restore these and all the things you don't need to worry about this in the han cloud here why because it's designed was designed to integrate this designed for the cloud and this sap is providing this product is sap is providing in the cloud so sap is responsible for that one right that is the the main thing here right without worrying about the backups updates software installation and patches so this all the management and maintenance taken care of by sap when you use the hana cloud hana database you are in the on premises it stays as it is like you need to do the hardware you need to procure the hardware you need to do the installation you need to perform the upgrades you need to perform the configurations backups restore each and everything under your part in the hana hana database hana db on prem systems here hana db on prem system here right cloud you no need to worry about this one all those things here right so but support as always offered sap support always all, always offered here so here here normally two years once are so there is a maintenance term is there the patches you will get from sap but due to the cloud due to the due to the nature of the cloud solutions the updates are frequency the frequently you will get the updates much higher than on premises ana systems here right this is the cloud customers will get the frequent updates for the frequent updates they will get it out here make sure both the use of the on premises solutions so and uh, ana cloud together is a great match here right you see the some of the differences in the diagrammatically i will explain it here suppose if you take the hana this is the hana here in the hana on premises here so here you are the responsible for the hardware part here right 
then operating system part also you are the responsible here and also the hana database is also your responsible person here and also the data layer is your responsible here then also the application layer is your responsible here entire in the on premises hana system here the hardware the hardware part is your responsibility and also operating system part is your responsibility then hana hana is also your responsibility the data then after the hana the data layer data is your responsibility only then application is your our responsibility only here that is the one of the thing here here hardware side select the hardware book purchase the hardware and provision the individual machines and storage and all thing customer responsibility here select the os configure the os update the os that is also your responsibility install the download the the rdbm ana software send and install the software updating patches backups tuning monitor restarts everything comes under the this one your responsibility so data layer data layer means managing the users catalogs data is ours and application this is the on prem system here this is the on premises ana database here on premises ana database here suppose if i talk about the if i talk about the hana cloud here so same way if i draw the drop the diagram for the hana cloud here right so here so these and all the parts comes under the these and all the parts comes under the managed service by sap here so these and all the part hardware and operating system and off part in the hana it will be done by the managed services here managed services by sap managed services by sap here then hana cloud hana cloud is your responsibility here hana cloud hana cloud is your responsibility here means in uh, provisioning of the hana database means you will get the provisioning capacity some select options to provision the hana cloud database so as usual the data layer is your part data layer is your part here then application layer is your part only here so here the only thing is this is as is here right this is also as is here here also some parts is our responsibility here means what hana database you need to provision it here then uh, what is the capacity uh, that only selection screen is your selection screen that is only your responsibility but so hardware part os part hana softwares backups tuning restarts so everything will be done by the sap only here everything will be done by the sap only here that is one of the the major the major major so major differences here hana cloud hana database was developed to hana cloud hana data this is the hana cloud here right so as compatible as much of possible with the on premises counterpart here why because here the versions are different here versions are different here so but this is developed to comp as much of compat as much as compatible as possible with the on premises counterpart here right they share the common code base very higher degree of mechanisms common codes common sql compatibilities and common tools procedures and everything here right suppose if you want to monitor the on premises hana database either you need the hana studio or hana cockpit you required right hana cockpit or hana studio so most of the people will use the studio some people they will use the cockpit but in the hana in the cloud hana cloud side here you required you need only you have only access to the hana cockpit only here you have only access to the hana cockpit only here right so one of the the main difference here the pricing how does the pricing work for the hana cloud hana database means one of the important difference is about the features included in the hana database in the cloud or part of rate you pay for the credits that can be used for the hana cloud so means we have to pay for credits then that will be used for the hana cloud here no it's no cost by the specific features here only how much you are using only that much you have to pay it here the futures and all you no need to pay it here so sap customers who have who are having the cpea cloud platform enterprise agreement they can use the hana cloud services as well including the hana cloud hana database as well here that is the one of the the difference here the major difference here so 
and also let's discuss about the some more differences here the significant differences as compared to the on premises for your hana database in the cloud you can use the hana cloud central to provision in the here in the hana hana cloud you need to use the hana cloud central hana cloud central to provision the your hana instances stop start backups so then edit scale up scale down remove so all the provisioning and scaler man so each and everything is a few clicks and few minutes it will take the so in the yet but here so there is a so suppose there is a different procedure in the on premises here but here just hana cloud central you need to do the all the process here right and also in the hana cloud you can also upgrade the software of your instances hana cloud you have the full control of the your instances are upgraded but you can also so have the instances running in the version have the two versions behind the latest so you can update it here and everything here right that is a one of the thing in the hana data differences between the provisioning here right so that is the one thing here and also the different database users here right so here whenever you install the on premises hana system here you will get the system user here you will get the db admin user here db admin user here it's a cloud right so normally the cloud based product sap will manage the security responsibilities here but in the on premises systems so it's purely our control but cloud also sap sharing the security responsibilities with us so that we can manage the security network monitoring storage services everything so monitor those things we can do it with the db admin user here db admin user mm -hmm. here so it's recommended to so that is the db admin user system user here then here hana cockpit as i mentioned here cockpit and studio in the hana cloud level only cockpit and some other sql tools are available to monitor the systems and everything here right that is the one of the thing here so and also in the hana cloud by creating the connections to the your on premises database you can use the data stored in them without leaving the so hana cloud environment use the hana cloud the database you have the single access point to the all your data which means in the hana cloud level you have the single point of access to the all the day all the data you can load the multiple sources you can load the data but where has in the hana on premises level either you can load from the any on premises some other databases but here you have the multiple options to load the data inside of the hana databases and everything here so these are the few differences we have what is hana hana sap hana on premises and hana cloud here right so here everything is manageable by sap only here not by you this part of the btp here okay so everything is cloud product right so part of the everything by it's a db as a service concept here so you need to manage only data is yours and application is yours and remaining part will be managed by sap it's a managed services it's a managed services by sap that is the the main thing here okay that is the one of the difference which i want to inform to everybody and also security part we have to take care of the security part and everything so backups part backups part so it will be managed by sap only here in the ana cloud level here we have to manually take it out here here will be managed by the so daily backups are created while a database is online up to 15 backups are created 15 backups are stored in the here so and also here rpo not more than 15 minutes in the ana cloud level here that is the major differences of the backups here everything we have to be the responsible here the backups sap will take care of the backups as well SAP will take care of the, the backups procedures and everything here. Okay. That is the difference here. So now let's start. So let me, uh, I think some root user password got locked in this Sana box. I'm not sure who locked it or not, but I see the root user password got locked. Let me unlock this one. 